Hey there, it's Swifty, and welcome back to Pony Doomsday. So I got a bit stuck last time, but I think I've figured out what I'm supposed to do. I think I'm supposed to give this note to one of these guys. I'm assuming since, I mean, I tried to give it to the guys with the Penyama and it didn't work. Uh, these, are, these are the only other people on campus besides the Dean, who I don't think is like, want to be my, want to have lunch with me. So let's try giving it to one of these guys and see what happens. Does one of you by any chance go by the name of Romantic Ninja? Uh, Mr. Rufus, please don't. You're Romantic Ninja? <laughs> How embarrassing. <laughs> Did you know that he's a Romantic Ninja? That according to this note, he bears the black belt in the arts of love. <laughs> I wish the ground would just swallow me up. No. We didn't know that. Mumu! That must be because he merges with the shadows of loneliness. Or so it is written by him. Luckily, I found this note. Because if you are threatened on the battlefield of love, which apparently applies to me. Threatened? My katana has ripped your heart to shreds. He offers the following. Do you want to share my lunch with me? Here, you can have it. I've lost my appetite. <laughs> Thank you, Romantic Ninja. Your courage and generosity will not be forgotten. <laughs> Poor Romantic Ninja. <laughs> He's just trying to meet someone nice. Okay, we have a fresh sandwich now. He's romantic, a ninja, and he can cook. Ooh. So, can we use that on the white platypus? Everyone likes a fresh sandwich, right? Alright, let's give that a shot. Platypuses only eat stale bread. They spit out anything fresh. And then they complain that everything was better back in the day and write embittered online reviews. Oh, so they're like hipsters then. <laughs> okay, um... So it needs to be an old sandwich if it, they want the bread stale. So can I use this temporal anomaly to make it old? I don't know. Maybe. Let's give it a shot. <laughs> I'm sure putting a sandwich into a temporal anomaly will not cause anything bad to happen. Well, what would happen if I were to hold this lunch in there? Me, me, me! Uh, time passes much quicker in the anomaly than outside, so the sandwich will get old! Ooh, I was right. Go me. Well, anyone could have foreseen that. Now it's only good for duck food, and I have to cut my fingernails again. Ah. Well, that's good, because we want to feed something that has duck-like features. But it's not actually a duck. It's actually a monotreme. Said the biologist, her, her, her. Push glasses up on nose. All right, uh, let's put it in the basket. Hey, honey, you like this? You like the smell of that? There we go. Good bait catches fine fish, unless Perfect. you're into worms, in which case you can cut out the middleman. Walls. All right, so let's take that. And I guess I want to replace this platypus with the white platypus, because I guess this platypus is, uh, inadequate. Let's see if this can motivate him. Oh, we're using it to motivate him so he'll run faster. Oh my gosh, it's a sexy lady platypus. Whoa, okay. That's not Yikes. a good... What's going on? Me, me, me! Stereo monocle? My name's Norbert, Professor. Nerdbert? I can remember that. And your answer is? The inflow of energy caused the expansion of the anomaly to increase. We are now inside simulated interim time. And then all of a sudden, time just flies by. Momo, 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 mo. She said only inside the bubble. Correct answer, but points off for interrupting, underbite Valkyrie. Her name is Hildebrain. <laughs> Her parents were jokers, were they? No, Scraplanders. She's an exchange student. And I'm Daniel Glangular. And am I supposed to remember that now, or what? Oh, class Please, is over. School's out. Uh, don't you want to turn the anomaly off first? Lesson two, never want to do something that somebody else can do. Uh, okay, so that means we can go talk to the dean now, because class is over. Um, I need to turn off the anomaly, so I need to make it so that he can no longer see her. So can so, I move it? enough is enough here. And, uh, now? It won't stop thrashing about! I can see that. Ah! 
And what was that? It's coming from your coat. The other platypus is crying. All right, all right. <sighs> Nothing but trouble. Oh, I can't separate them? Crap. Uh, can I block the view of her with the umbrella? Platypuses can be allowed to get wet. At least as long as you don't feed them after midnight. Whoa. What the? Shame. Oh, just when it was getting exciting. Boo! What did Everything the umbrella comes actually to do? An end. Get used to it. Oh, I stuck it in the wheel so we can't turn the wheel anymore. If it keeps working like that, I'm sure this story will eventually come to a happy end. She could pitch in and help a bit. Perhaps she's realized how pointless his efforts are. But maybe she just got an anti-everything attitude that's going to get her a bad semester report. <laughs> okay, so I think that means we can go talk to the dean now. Because time is over, or time has passed. Uh, to the front. Eh, I like the little worm there. Oh, he's looking at me, cutie. All right. Uh... And? Were you able to stem the damage that my son has wreaked upon those poor students? Stem? <laughs> I eradicated it. Which damage were you referring to? Those stupid ideas about time travel, of course. Junior claims, in all seriousness, to be able to create time anomalies. He says he's built a machine in his shed that can travel back and forth through time. And then he holds lectures on the subject behind my back. Thankless firebrand. Firebrand? He always seemed to me to be so careful, downright boring. Yeah, uh, I wish. Imagine it. My son, of all people, a dreamer. A fantasist. Yes, an anarchist. Honestly? Huh. Hmm. Never knew that about my chronicle. He's a bit of a rebel. Okay, so... Uh, what can I pick up here? This is not a pipe? Man, the artist really missed the boat on that one. <laughs> oh, can I take the pipe? Ha <laughs> ha! It right. is so a pipe. You can't pull the wool over a Rufus's eyes. Uh, I disagree. Uh, oh, a bird A sticker. warning sign for birds. Who thinks this stuff up? Can I take it off? Birds don't need warning signs. They're free! Free! Oh! Oh no! <laughs> and if they want to fly into stained glass windows, they have the right to do so. Oh, poor Mr. Bird. They are pretty. They are colorful. And more importantly, they aren't part of some stupid mosaic puzzle. Let's take some for reasons that I am unsure of. Okay, uh, there's an ashtray. You smoke? Not anymore. Although on days like this, I wish I'd never quit. I, I, isn't that a little unreasonable at your age? The nicotine chewing gum was worse. Destroyed all my baby teeth. Uh, I don't understand why you are a child. Uh, that's the key we need. I sense another key moment. Personally, I prefer those break the window and turn the doorknob moments, but hey, you can't always get what you want. Okay, uh... At least his taste in hats seems to be gradually improving. <laughs> Let's talk to the Chronicle. Oh, Please he stepped on the bird. Don't disturb him. He should be given time to think about his mistakes. <laughs> That's what I always say, too. But it's way funnier when you say it, because you repress your own mistakes. Well, okay, well, he said he smokes. So, can I give him the pipe? Ah, <sighs> my old pipe. Exactly what I need after all the trouble with Junior. But I don't have any tobacco, and I don't even have any nicotine chewing gum left. Uh, I have weeds. Can I put that in the pipe? I have no idea. I sincerely doubt it's tobacco, but here you go. Ah, <sighs> my old pipe. That's just what I need right now. Well, wow, it's actually working. Strong <laughs> stuff, this tobacco. It, uh... <laughs> It reminds me of my college days. Uh, we were so crazy back then. 
I don't think that's tobacco. <laughs> oh, Lola Cuckoo! Oh god, the gene is high. Okay. We experimented with everything. I'll bet. <laughs> with plants, with time. And with women, of course. <laughs> this is so disturbing coming out of the mouth uh, of a child. I don't really want to hear that. Mrs. McCronicle was one hot chick. <laughs> ah, too much information. I was even more crazy than he is today. My mother didn't like it at all. She never wanted me to go to university. I was supposed to take over my father's business in the garage. Rocco McChronicle. He said playing with time would only end in tears. What my butt for my girlfriend. I was already 25. <laughs> okay, so yeah, a bit of a dark backstory there for the Dean. I want to know why he is a child. There must be some kind of weird time anomaly thing going on here, but now At hopefully we can talk to the Seems to be gradually improving. Psst. McDiaper pants. Your father is distracted. We can go. Go without me. He's right. I need to think about my errors. Oh, my chronicle. Don't be that no, way. No, he isn't. There are temporal anomalies. I know. We created them, and as a result, ruined everything. What, and your plan is to give up now? When everything is at its worst? Don't you understand? It's always at its worst. This here is no loop. It's a downward spiral. I sense another person, but hey. Can I get the key? Is he distracting? May I? I don't know. If you may, I may, right? Uh, sure. Yippee! <laughs> okay, so that means we can get into the shed with the time machine. Uh, is there anything else we can interact with in here? Nope. All right, let's uh, go check out the... Oh, would you have to walk on the bird? That's so terrible. Um, let's go and see if we can get in to see the time machine. Oh, I guess I have to go to the inventory and click on the key. Oops. Locked. Yeah, I know. Uh, key. Perfect. Here we go. Oh boy, this looks just a touch more complicated to me. Yeah, I'll say. Holy Something crap. tells me that for once, I'm actually going to require a little assistance. I agree. Okay. Um... Something tells me that for once, I'm actually going to require a little assistance. Oh, my chronicle sleeps in here. Oh, there's a tap here. Yeah, this is nothing but waste oil. Somehow I had expected liquid bronze. Tank. It smells like feta cheese. A professional scientist needs no further evidence to know what to do now. So I need feta cheese. How does one get feta cheese? As long as the tank is empty, no pressure can be built there. Okay, well, I have a bucket. Can I collect the oil? For reasons? Yeah. This is nothing but waste oil. I have to get rid of it somehow. They are pretty. They are, and more importantly. Okay, so now we have broken glass and oil. A feta cheese. Can I milk the goat and somehow get cheese? Cause I mean, I can make the goat move around. So I'm guessing I'm gonna need him at some point. Um, Cause yeah, let's just do this and see where he goes. He goes that way. Yeah, and then goes back that way, okay. Uh, the gutter's hanging down here, so if I put the oil in the gutter up in the observatory, maybe it slides across the ceiling and he will slip and fall. 
Because we can't reach him where he is right now. So let's go and try that. Oh, everyone's still here. Ah! You're still here. Of course, Mr. Rufus. After all, we are on the cusp of an epical discovery. And anyway, there are junk ball jocks waiting outside the lecture hall again. They'll have to wait. We are going on an excursion. Pack your things. We're off to... Ma, ma, ma. The neighboring building. Thanks, <laughs> Brain. Somewhat misplaced, but you still get a star. Wow! Cool! Whoa! Impressive, isn't it? What is it? Me, me, me! Ah, nerd bird? Oh! An impulse-induced tachyon field generator? Hmm. Popularly known as a... Anyone? Perhaps a chubby over there. Hmm. Um, uh, um... Time portal... Machine? Time portal machine! Precisely! Because it creates a time portal. But where? Sure, of course, the interim time, the turquoise tunnel, as we experts also call it. And now, for the master question, how to turn that thing on? Turn it on? But, uh... All right, people, I want discussion. Mm. Mm, that thing at the front must be the tachyon tank. But the milk bottle with the bicycle pump? You need a substance that emits tachyons. Ugh, by the smell, I'd say it used to contain feta cheese. And you have to adjust the nozzle so they concentrate on the thinnest place in space-time. You can detect a so-called potential portal with 4D glasses. 4D glasses, feta cheese, anything else? You're not intending to open a portal into interim time, are you? And why not? McChronicle says it's too dangerous. It could perforate the whole of space-time. Oh, hogwash. The proof of the pudding is in the eating. You can't win if you don't buy a ticket. Uh, will that be in the exam? Okay, so I need feta cheese, which I think I can get from the goat, and I need 4D glasses. Well, I have glass, so I just need to find something, I guess, to combine these with to make 4D glasses. So let's go and capture ourselves a goat. Because why not? Maybe I can steal the Dean's glasses somehow. Oh. This chair offends my delicate sense of symmetry. Oh, because it's not closed. Uh-huh. Oh, Someone was chewing gum in my class and didn't give me any, except for their fresh box lunch. It's gonna rain homework. Well. Um, yeah, so now I have gum. Uh, the Dean mentioned nicotine chewing gum. Maybe there's a way I can make it nicotine flavored. <laughs> Oh god, I'm gonna have to roll it in the ashtray. <laughs> oh, that's so nasty. Okay. Let's see. Uh, can I dump the oil into the gutter? I sure can! Away with the stuff. Perfect. Uh, do I still have the bucket? Nope, bucket's gone. Okay. So let's go catch ourselves a goat. Yeah, see, you know, now there's oil. All right the front. Let's catch ourselves a goat. Oh. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. <laughs> I don't know where the pinata mystically went, but... These barbarians should be reported to the Goat Protection Society. The poor animal should have been milked long ago. Hey, stay away from our junk ball training bag. That's not a training bag. That's a goat. Ha! Nice try. I may be blind, but my other senses are all the sharper for it. I can hear the room, taste objects, and I can smell in your facial expression that you're trying to trick me. Uh, yeah, that was my facial expression, and not yesterday's chili. Uh, can I use... Oh, I don't have the bucket anymore. Crap. What is this supposed to be? Zen and the art of eggs. Only through oh, oh. Yeah, I already talked about Aww, that. how is he ever And strike <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? My mucous membranes are Oh right, because he's allergic. Oh, anaphylactic shock. 
It's my goat's hair allergy. My eyes are burning. <laughs> <laughs> Bravo. You finally hit something dead on. <laughs> my sense of humor. That reminds me of my brief career as an industrial spy in the Schlonzer sausage mines. I still don't know how my cover was blown. Hey, stay. I already told Where do you think the bleeding comes from? From my wife, of course. She's always bleeding on at me. Claiming that my sports things are actually animals, nuns, or, or the neighbor's children. But how, pray tell, would a goat manage to get down here to the underwater palace? <laughs> Okay, suppose that it isn't a goat. Can I still milk it? Of course, help yourself. But be careful, sometimes they bite. I... Oh, I guess because it's been so long since it was milked, I, it produces feta cheese instead of milk. Ew. Oh, and I have the Groucho glasses. I guess I can mix those with the... glass to make 40 glasses? Alright, let's put this in the tachyon tank. Who can tell me why it's a good idea to put feta cheese into the tank? You probably built some 4D glasses and realized that the cheese emits tachyons, right? Eh, false. Then it was a trick question, because it is not a good idea at all. Correct answer. Oh, I guess I gotta build the glasses first. Hey, these pieces of glass would be perfect for my 4D glasses. It's a shame that they don't stick together on their own. Oh, glasses of stained glass. I use the trick. The gum is already much too old. And besides, gluing colorful shards of broken glass together with bubble gum? Ha! <laughs> That's totally unrealistic. Okay, so. I need something to glue the glass onto the glasses with. Let's go back to the Dean and see if I can give him this gum. I don't know much about the production of nicotine gum, but I have chewing gum, and that contains nicotine. Aw, oh, I was work, right. right. Gross. All right, let's go to the Dean. Nicotine chewing gum? Oh boy, oh boy. I've just realized that I've got the munchies. <laughs> Wait, I'll just put my toothy pegs back in. Toothy pegs? Oh, your dentures? Mmm, mmm, monstastic! Mmm, ooh, yummy! And now there's Master denture. Whistle Hole's <laughs> dental adhesive. Because you know that life is good when your teeth stay where they should. Please ensure dentures are pointing in the right direction during insertion. Whoa. All right, denture glue. Let's use that on the glasses. Ta-da! I present to you the 4D glasses! Makes potential time portals visible and raises cinema admission prices by the power of two! Sweet! Ta-da! I make- Yeah, okay, you already did that. Oh god, I'm wearing it. Alright, um, a Chronicle, do you have What's anything else to What's wrong with you? You sound just as pig-headed as your father. And he didn't bring the world to within an inch of total destruction through his behavior. Yeah, but his behavior isn't going to save it either. <sighs> Alright, um... Oh. So I can't, like, use them? There's that mysterious glow again. Hmm... Okay, let's head out and go back to the- oh my gosh, stop stepping on the perit bird! Uh, let's go in. Alright guys. Can I actually put the feta cheese in now? Who can tell me why it's a good idea to put feta- You probably built some 4D gl- <laughs> Then it was it correct, eh? What? There's that mysterious. Hmm. 
Who can tell me what this is? Are those supposed to be 4D glasses? It is a set of 4D glasses. Is that stained glass from a window? Don't no. touch! That is a highly sensitive, scientific whatnot. I see a kind of ring. Oh, I know! That must be a place where the dimension membrane between here and interim time is especially thin. Not thinner than your derivation, nerdo. <laughs> exactly, Hildy. It's in the middle of the machine. Oh, good. Then we don't need to calibrate it at all. <laughs> Fortune has changed sides. Now the idiots are completely screwed. Okay. Here, space-time is thin enough to create a portal. Now, I just need to get it open. Can I finally put the stupid feta cheese in now? Who can tell me why it's a good idea to put feta? You probably built. And now, the follow up question. Okay, here we go. What color are tachyons? In my mama. Uh, she means pink. Then it is proven. Feta cheese emits tachyons. <laughs> Write that down. The portal is open! But that's way too small. Maybe there isn't enough pressure on the tachyon jets. More pressure? <laughs> no problem. I'm a professional when it comes to generating pressure. Uh, what? <laughs> that's not working. Oh! Ah! <laughs> Daniel! Uh-oh. <laughs> Dad, Zooks! There was another potential portal hidden under the carpet. What are we gonna do now? My, 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 my. Yeah, but who knows if it's safe? Uh, nothing ventured, nothing gained. A chronicle! Hurrah! My, my. The tachyons must have spread out in the near vicinity of the portal. There's a relatively high probability that they have opened a portal to Kuvac. And how high is high? Haven't a clue. One in a thousand, maybe? And that's good? Relatively. It's the only chance that we're going to get. And also, one more than we really deserve. Uh, speaking of which, I still have to pick Gola. That means the leap into the unknown without any guarantee of being able to return has got to wait? No, I'd rather go get her right away. <laughs> Can't leave without goal. Come on, woman. We gotta go. Goal! We did it! The guys and I have opened a time portal! Wow, well done. Uh, don't be like that. I told you, I'll make it right again. And I told you, go away. Oh, come on, goal. Take off the hat and. Hey! Hands off! What's that? <sighs> I do understand where you're coming from. After all, that palaver with the platypus puppet theater wasn't exactly subtle, was it? Puppet theater? Oh, that. that yes, that was intentional. But look at them. They're both trapped, without any hope. I'll never be able to escape my hamster wheel. Wait, you think you're the platypus in the hamster wheel? Of course. That one is clearly female. Look at her, she... <laughs> I knew it! There is hope! Nope. Ah, you're right. It is the male. <laughs> At least she's now free. Yes. Wow. Look how happy she is. She'll recover. On the other hand, one shouldn't overuse metaphors. Uh, what's this? What's this? Hey! Give it back! <laughs> when did you do that? While you were gadding about the fairground. What about it? <laughs> she did the exact same thing we did. She made a fake Rufus to get a picture with. Oh, come and on. And you got past the lover mat with that? Well... Someone had to make sure that things could carry on. But then why are you so angry? Because we're not together in the photo? No, because we are. An illusion. A snapshot giving the wrong picture. Or do you think that at the end of the day we'll be sticking that picture into our photo album? Everything here is going to have to end up being undone and reversed. So that we can save the world. So that there will be no few locks on Elysium. That's how it has to be. Right? 
Oh, so no, we're never gonna meet. it isn't. Then tell me one thing that will still remain of our adventures. If you can do that, then I'm happy to come. Ha, easy. In the end, there's always one thing that remains. There, look at that. Babies. Hitchcraft? Hope. Uh, it doesn't matter. Let's go. <laughs> School's out. What the? What now? Are we in Kubek? That looks like that interim we crossed in the time pod. But where did this city come from? And where are Gol and McChronicle? They jumped through the portal right before I did. Hey, you! You lock! Oh, shit. Get off of my porch! Ah, a local. Can you tell me where I've landed? In my turnip patch! Wait a minute. Don't I know you? You're... you're... Glandula, the romantic ninja. Just old and ugly. How is that possible? Are you trying to talk your head off? Don't you mean, am I trying to talk your ear off? Not if I got my gun pointed right. Oh. Okay, so I have no idea where we are. We don't know where Golem and Chronicle are. And yeah, time is definitely messed up. Look at all those portals. So yeah, I'm interested to see what happens. <laughs> Uh, I think we're getting towards the end of this game, but I'm really enjoying it so far, and I hope you guys are too. If you are enjoying it, please press the like and subscribe button. It means a whole lot to me to get all of your support, and I will see all of you guys in my next video. Have a great day!